I recall one of the most spirited sermons I've ever experienced. Upon introduction, the preacher inquired, Is God trustworthy? The congregation responded with a resounding yes. Next, the preacher asked, Is God reliable during prosperous times? Absolutely, we all replied. The questions persisted. Can we depend on God during hardships? Yes, but the confidence in our voices wavered. A hint of uncertainty rippled through the assembly. The preacher then revealed the day's theme, asking why the hesitation. The congregation's hesitancy led the preacher to declare that the day's topic would be about placing our trust in the Lord. We all cherish the moments when everything is going well and we struggle to express the abundance of God's grace in our lives. These delightful seasons filled with blessings are truly treasured. However, life is not always comprised of such happy times. There are instances when money doesn't come our way, or we don't achieve high grades in school, and our job applications may not always be successful. From a social perspective, we might not always feel connected or supported. In various ways, challenges inevitably infiltrate our lives. These difficulties are not always extreme or intense. Sometimes, it is the stress and disorder that accompany our daily routines. Juggling our everyday obligations can be demanding. We must attend to our families, work, maintain the family business, and manage countless other tasks as our to-do lists continue to grow rather than diminish. Such situations can leave us feeling overwhelmed and weighed down, even causing us to doubt our abilities or feel like we're falling short. Everyone has their struggles. When you add it all up, life can get pretty ugly and complicated and make us want to run for the hills. If that's not the answer, where do we turn? The Bible. The Word of God has all the answers to life's challenges. When life gets hard, we have a refuge, God. Many feel overwhelmed because we have excluded God from our lives. We depend on ourselves to run our lives. We trust in our connections to get us jobs or our academic qualifications and intellectual capacity to get us into our institutes of choice. And when things go wrong, we wonder what happened and where we messed up. The answer is that we shut God out of our lives. God should be at the center of everything we do not just a solution when everything else is stopped working. We shouldn't treat him as a friend only when our other friends are busy. He should be trusted when things are great and when they aren't. At the beginning of this video, I spoke about how the pastor made us think more deeply about trusting God in tough times. Why? Because that's when it's the most difficult to do. When all is well, it's also easy to be happy and say, the Lord is good. However, the real test comes when we're not winning, when our lives are taking a downward spiral. Even then, the Lord is to be trusted. To sustain a robust connection with God, it is vital that we consistently engage with Him through prayer, no matter our situation. Prayer allows us to convey our thankfulness, request guidance, and seek fortitude during challenging times. It's important to acknowledge that God is perpetually present even when we might not sense His involvement in our lives. Belief in God is an ongoing journey. Our faith will face numerous trials, and there might be instances when it falters. Nevertheless, by remaining anchored in his teachings, preserving a constant link via prayer, and participating in a nurturing spiritual community, we can navigate life's tempests with unshakable reliance on the Lord. 
Look at what 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 7 and Psalm 121 verses 1 and 2 says, Brethren, for this reason, in spite of all our stress and crushing difficulties, we have been filled with comfort and cheer about you because of your faith, the leaning of your whole personality on God, in complete trust and confidence. I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Transfer your trust from self to God. Trust him 100%. Oh, if you still want to solve your issues without his help, he will allow you to. God is not in the business of outshining or competing with you. The Bible tells us that there is no other help for us apart from the Lord. No human, no matter how powerful, can be for us what God can. No amount of money, fame, success, education, or good looks can give us what He gives us. There is no amount of medical expertise that can heal us of our illnesses, if not for the divine touch of God in our lives. Without God, we can do nothing. It's all vanity when we live life excluding God. As long as we're alive, we should make serving God our priority. If we focus on Him, He'll focus on us and make things work out in our favor. We should quit trying to be our own saviors. Let us admit our weaknesses and let the Lord intervene in our lives. Trusting God makes us strong and not weak, as some may think. God is trustworthy when times are great and when they are not. We can trust Him when we feel His presence in our lives and when we don't. He's trustworthy when we can see His goodness and when we can't wait to see the end of the trying phase in our lives. To embrace a life of faith in God, we must relinquish control and entrust our concerns and fears to Him. This act reflects our confidence in His divine blueprint for our lives. By aligning with His intentions, we not only find inner tranquility, but also uncover the genuine reason for our existence. Cultivating our connection with God involves engaging in daily activities that foster spiritual growth. Delving into the scriptures, partaking in collective worship, and exchanging insights with fellow believers can bolster our faith and enhance our comprehension of God's affection towards us. Moreover, dedicating our time, assets, and abilities in the service of others enables us to personify Christ's empathy and generosity, thus creating a significant impact in the world. God is good, and His goodness endures forever, from generation to generation. Don't entertain the thought that you're beyond being saved no matter how hard your life gets or how bad your situation looks. God can turn things around for your benefit. Receive what He's saying to you in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19. See. I am doing a new thing now, it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. What are the wildernesses and the wastelands in your life? What areas of your life have become dried up and unproductive? What areas are dying due to the pressures of life? Are the mounting bills taking away your joy? Is it the worry over your loved one who's seriously sick in the hospital? Are the school fees for your children giving you sleepless nights? The Lord says to you, Behold, I am doing a new thing. I am bringing change to your life. I am turning things around, giving you hope where there was no hope. I am restoring joy and wholeness to your family. I am healing your sick friend. I am healing your finances. And you shall not lack again. I'm going before you to guide you and make a way for you where there appears to be no way. 
the starting point to experience the new thing God is doing in your life is by trusting Him. Believe that He is already making changes. Become fully persuaded that God will fulfill His promises to you. Accept and receive His words by faith. Don't focus on the physical. God works from the spiritual realm before you see or feel anything. When He says He has already released your blessing, believe He has. As you go about the business of life, include God in your plans and He will direct your paths. Let your life be God-focused and not on the cares of the world. Whatever you do should be by God through God and for God. You can only do this if you trust and rely on Him and His plan for your life. If you do, He will transform your life. He will turn your mourning into dancing, your ashes into beauty. Give you the oil of joy instead of mourning and set you free from all your troubles. So today, I encourage you to wholly entrust yourself to the Lord, involving your heart, soul, and mind. Let your dependence be exclusively on Him. As you follow this path, you will begin to discover the abundant life that Jesus offered through His sacrifice for you. By dedicating yourself to this journey, immerse yourself in the heavenly love and direction provided by God. Pursue His insights in all circumstances and stay resolute in your faith even when confronted with obstacles. As you draw nearer to God and foster your spiritual connection, you will not only gain comfort and fortitude in His presence, but also observe the transformative impact of His mercy in your life.